Scholars, my name is Alexandra and welcome to my school channel where we'll be tackling the 2019 Jump Pass question for English language. Now in this clip we'll be tackling question 1 to 24, so join me as we begin question 1. From the instruction it says, choose the one nearest in meaning to the word or words in brackets. Okibo was rusticated for his derogatory remark about the principal. The word in bracket is derogatory and it means to reduce one's value. Now let's go ahead with the options. Option A says complementary. Complementary is a positive word given appraisal, which is definitely out of it. Option B is only one ranted. It doesn't fit this context. Option C, lackluster. Lackluster means lack of brilliance. It doesn't fit in this context. Option D means the tasteful, lack of respect, of questionable moral character. So judging from my explanation, we can see that D is super correct. Question two, choose the one nearest in meaning to the words in brackets. Some men will continue to cause offenses until they are given a taste of their own medicine. The words in brackets are a taste of their own medicine. Now let's go right to the, the options. Option A, placated, it means to bring peace. Option B, revenge on. Uh, revenge on simply means any form of personal retaliation. C, cured, a method of medication. D, recompensed for. Recompensed for is an equivalent return for anything that has been done or given or suffered for. Now, let's look at the meaning of a taste of their own medicine. It's doing the same thing that has been done to you. So, judging from this definition, we can see that option D is super correct. Question 3. Choose the one nearest in meaning to the word or words in brackets. Justice is difficult to enforce because people are unwilling to accept any loss of sovereignty. What's the meaning of sovereignty? Sovereignty is the supreme authority over all things. Moving to the option, option A, positing. Positing from the word posit means to suggest. Option B, leadership, the act of leading. Option C, autonomy, which is self-government or the freedom to act or function. D, kingdom, which is a realm. So judging from my explanation, we can see that autonomy best describes um, the word sovereignty. So option C is super correct. Question four. As many years of success in legal practice didn't come out without challenges. In this sentence, we are supposed to insert the appropriate linking word of contrast. Now let's look at the options we have. Option A, but. But shouldn't come before a comma. Okay, so this makes this option out of it. Option B, in spite of all. In spite of all should come before a now. We don't have a now here, so it wouldn't fit in. Option C, indeed, indeed doesn't fit this context at all. Then option D, however. However is supposed to link, to separate two different ideas with the use of comma. Separate two different ideas in two different sentences. So however fits this context. So making option D accurate. Question five, choose the word that has the same rhyme the word is time, and we have our options, option A, climb, B, bind, C, time, D, line. Now let's go over to the board and look at the transcription. Now for time, it is transcribed as this. For climb, we have N, I, and M sound. So this doesn't fit. Option B doesn't fit. Option C, correct. Option D. So judging from this transcription, we discover that C is accurate. Question six, choose the one nearest in meaning to the word in brackets. There are still virtuous women in our society today. The word in bracket is virtuous. Option A, devilish. It's totally negative, doesn't, doesn't fit in this context. Option B, clever, which means to be skillful. Option C, intelligence, to have high capacity of knowledge. 
Option D, upright. Upright means to have good moral character. So judging from my explanation, we see that D is super correct. Question seven. Choose the one nearest in meaning to the word in brackets. This type of response is typical of a lazy teacher. Option A, symptomatic. Symptomatic means a sign that something is present. Option B, characteristics, which is a distinctive future or a typical future of something. Option C, universal. Universal is a common thing. Option D, incontestable, which means not contestable, not debatable, something that is certain. So from my explanation, we'll see that characteristics is conceptually synonymous to the word typical. So option B is accurate. Question eight, choose the word with the same vowel sound as the word in brackets. The word is orthopedic with the letter of the alphabet A and E representing the long E sound. Option A, elite. Option B, impasse. Option C, cacophony. Option D, sharp. Now option A is the correct answer because the letter of the alphabet I is the long E sound. Option A is therefore accurate. Do not forget to test yourself with our simulated jam CBT pass questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below that will take you to my school website where you can download my school software for your computers and laptops or my school mobile app for your Android phone. So let's continue with question nine. Choose the word with the same vowel sound as the one in the bracket. The word is pronounced bandage. The word in bracket is A, which has the E sound, the short E sound. Option A is kite. Option B, says. Option C, cacophony. Option D, cage. Now let's move to the board and let me explain. The word, option A has a diphthong, kite. It is transcribed as this. This is I, it's I, okay, let's see, Kai, this is a diphthong, cannot be separated, it's starting with the A sound and ending with the E sound, I. Option B is, says, this is also a diphthong, it cannot be separated. It is starting with the E and ends with E sound. A. Option C. Cacophony. It is transcribed as. Now, this is a monotone. Then the last one is cage, which also contains a diphthong. Cannot be separated. So this makes it correct. Bandage is transcribed as So, judging from my explanation, we see that C is the correct answer. If you find this video very helpful, don't forget to hit on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get notified as soon as we release our next videos. Question 10 to 14 comes with a passage, so I would advise you post this video and click on the link in the description below that takes you to my school website where you can have full access to the passage. So I would advise you to read this passage carefully and head back to this video as we continue with question 10. A suitable title for the above passage can be A. Mass Communication B. The Mass Media and the People C. The Purpose of Mass Media D. 
the good and the bad side of the media. If you've read this passage carefully, you realize that B covers the totality of the passage. The mass media and the people covers mass communication as a career path, as a practice. It covers the purpose of mass media as well as the relative importance. It also covers societal relevance and effect. So judging from this, you see that the mass media and the people is the correct answer. Option B is definitely correct. Question 11. The means of mass media can be summarized into a radio television and newspaper b newspaper books and journals c prints and electronics d prints electronics and advertisements now in let's take a look at the passage second paragraph you can see words like magazines and newspaper in printed form you can see words like radio and television now in summary we see that option C captures this in summary, prints in form of magazines and newspapers, electronics in form of the radio and television. So option C is definitely correct. Question 12. One of the following is not true in the passage. Option A, mass communication don't talk. Option B, mass communication don't personalize discourse. Option C, mass media determine what the public gets to know. Option D, all of the above. Now, when you take a look at option A, com mass communication don't talk, you see that this statement contradicts the message derived from the passage. The passage has clearly stated that mass communication should be seen as the same as talking face to face with someone. So, option A is definitely the right answer. Question 13. One major source of worry about the mass media is from A. Broadcasting B. Advertisements C. Political rallies D. Newscasting Now the correct answer for this question is option C. Political rallies Now when you take a look at the last paragraph, you see that political and commercial propaganda poses more threats, poses potential dangers to the people and because the mass media has greater influence on the public opinion. So option C is our correct answer. Question 14. All the following are roles of the media, but A, entertainment, B, sensitization, C, information, and D, moralization. Now, when you take a look at the passage, we find out that mass media entertains us, it sensitizes us, it informs us, but then it doesn't moralize us. It doesn't give us a sense of moral, it doesn't give us a moral reformation or a moral conduct. So definitely our answer is D, moralization. Moralization is the accurate answer. Question 15. Now this is an extract from a register, so I advise you click on the link in the description below to get the full Register. Moving back to question 15, at least a small fragile looking Ugandan mother is dying of AIDS. She lives with her son and daughter in a thin roof shack on the dash of Kampala. Option A, outskirts. Option B, suburb. Option C, interior. Option D, outside. Option A is the correct answer. Why? Because option A, outskirts, is usually comes after the prepositional phrase on D as opposed to suburb, which comes after the prepositional phrase in D. Also, outskirts means a surrounding area of a city, while suburb is a residential area located in a particular city. So, definitely option A is our answer. Question 16. When Alice died of AIDS in 1987, Alice discovered she was HIV positive. Frequent dash of sickness forced her to give up her embroidery job. Option A, sufferings. Option B, happenings. Option C, rounds. Option D, bouts. Now, when you look at option A to C, you discover that these words don't fit into this content. But then option D, bouts. Bout means a frequent happening of something unpleasant or painful. Now, let's try to fix this word in this sentence when her husband died of aids in 1987 alice discovered she was hiv positive frequent bouts of sickness forced her to give up her embroidery job option d is the correct answer 
Question 17. She was so depressed that she just wanted to eat, full stop. Dashed by a neighbor, the mobile care unit from Sambia Hospital went to her home. A attracted, B visited, C noticed, D alerted. Now, when you look at this extract, you notice that alerted best fits this context. Why? Because the neighbor must have noticed that she was depressed and in a, in a, in a bid to, to help her, she must have alerted the mobile care unit from Musambia Hospital. Our correct answer is alerted. Do not forget that on my school website, there are solution providers readily waiting to help you out with your questions. So why not ask your questions and get your answers in a moment. Now let's continue with question 18. They convinced her to start taking proper dash. A, cure, B, medication, C, measures, D, precautions. Now, when you look at the, the, the register, following the register from the beginning, convincing should connote medication. So, they convinced us to start taking proper medication. Definitely, option B is super correct. So, should in case you have a better explanation to the answers for any of those questions treated today, Please, I'd like you to use this comment section below, indicate the, the question number as well as the explanation you would like to share. Question 19. After three months of DASH treatment, she regained her will to leave. Option A, intensive. Option B, healthy. Option C, safe. And option D, heavy. Now, let's go back to the question. After three months of DASH treatment, we, we need an adjective to complete this sentence so the best option for this is option a intensive after three months of intensive treatment she regained her will to live so whatever is helping us to regain our will to live has to be intensive option a is the accurate answer question 20 the eighth time bomb dash on relentlessly option a strikes option b burns option c ticks option d drops now, the correct answer for this question is strikes. Time bomb strikes relentlessly. Now, what does it mean to strike? It means to happen suddenly, to occur suddenly. So, this best fits this context. So, our correct answer is A. Question 21. The World Health Organization dashed that 1.8 million Ugandans are HIV positive, nearly one in eight of the total population. Option A, judges. Option B, supposes. Option C, proposes. Option D, estimates. Now, the, the, the figure 1.8 million suggests that a calculation has been made. It is a figure. So what does estimate mean? Estimate means to approximately calculate, to come up with a value for something. Now, let's insert this word in the sentence. The World Health Organization estimates that 1.8 million Ugandans are HIV positive, nearly one in eight of the total population. With this, we can conclude that option D is accurate. Question 22. The Ugandan AIDS Commission set up by President Museveni dashed the spread of the disease. A limits, B anticipates, C monitors, and D increases. The best answer for this question is monitors. The Ugandan AIDS Commission set up by, the President, by President Museveni monitors the spread of the disease. This commission is said to monitor the spread because it has to do with figures to get the exact figure of the infected, so it is monitors. The best option is C, monitors. Question 23, however, under potting and the lack of postmortem and dash makes it impossible to establish exact figures. A, facilities, B, amenities, C, condition, D, provisions. Now the best answer for this question is A, facilities. However, on the potting and the lack of postmortem and facilities make it impossible makes it impossible rather to establish exact figures. Option A is the accurate answer. Question 24. No one dash that it is a disaster far worse than the years of civil war. A denies, B claims, C rejects, and D imagines. Now for this context. We can see that A denies fits this 
context. No one denies that it is a disaster far worse than the years of civil war. A is the correct answer. So we've come to the end of this segment and I believe that you enjoyed the content. So please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get new videos as soon as they are released.